Um, so we spawn into the system. Let's uh, let's change the scene and let's introduce. Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Z4X and I'm joined here by Marshall. Hello there. And we're here for the new season of Clan Wars presented by ExodusEsports.com. We currently have the Cult versus Team Burning. And, uh, and we're playing on the Colts home system, Marshall. Do you want to talk a little bit about this Christmas ball we've got right here? The Christmas ball. Oh my goodness, I've just zoomed in and it is speckled with green dots everywhere. That is a ton of metal to the point that I don't think you really need to worry too much about where you spawn. So it's more about the geographical features than it is about uh, the metal placement here, but wow. There are also some reasonable sized um, mm. bodies of water there as well, and with the yeah. recent changes to naval, given, um, given those and we haven't seen the system played since, we might actually see some more heavy naval play, which yeah. could be definitely interesting. I agree. In a, in a lot of the earth planets, we don't see too many bodies of water. There's definitely like a noticeable amount here. A lot of the land is cut off from uh, other bits of land because of these bodies of water. And as you mentioned, um, having the naval in there with the new naval balance is uh, entirely viable. Like back in alpha beta days, where it was like you put you put naval units in your water water pools because they defended all of the ground around them. Hmm. Um. Dom asking why we're yellow. It looks like it changed, actually. They were the right colour in the lobby, were they? I don't know. Yeah, there's been a couple of issues like that. However, now that they're all spawned in, we can see what's going on. So, Colt in orange. Game's paused. We can still have a have a quick look at uh, their spawns. Ah, uh, we can't talk to them. <laughs> nah. uh, never mind, we'll talk a little bit about the game. Um, so, we've got Team Colt um, playing through their strategy, evidently. They've got two players... Uh, spawning in pairs apart from each other and they're also actually relatively close they're about a quarter planet distance away so yeah. it could be much worse so they're both of them spawning together and uh, and pretty close so in a good situation for Colt particularly to play into their strategy looking over at Burning they've actually split into three groups obviously two and one and one and they formed a little triangle they're not actually too far away from each other so I don't think this is a particularly weak uh, system um, or a weak uh, situation for them to be in Mm. I mean, looking at the distances between the southernmost spawns for both teams, you've got two commanders versus one commander, and the distance there isn't particularly great, especially if you get some early docks raiding going out there. You can rush across and really put some pressure on really early, and because he's at the lowest end of the triangle further away from the double spawn, He's going to need to have some reinforcements if that does end up being the case. But of course, before that can be the case, scouting is paramount. Yeah. Um, so the players uh, should be starting pretty soon. About the spawn points then. Would you prefer to be in Colt's situation right now or Burning's? I'm tempted to go with Burning. Uh, because they're close enough to each other that they can reinforce, but they're far enough apart that they've got a diverse amount of map control, and the area between them is effectively theirs insofar as uh, tank control is concerned. But uh, Colt at the same time, with their double spawn commanders, they're able to push up the tech tree a bit faster if they so desire. Hmm. The one thing I like about the uh, the southern cult players here is they've got like a really solid position because there's so much water around them. There's like very few areas to need to defend. There's only one mm. little choke point to the left of them there. Um, and they've also got the water to defend themselves with a little bit of naval. So it seems like quite a nice position for the southern players. Nice and easy to hold on to. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to jump into cult, see whether I can get the game started. Okie doke. Okay. That took a little while, but we're back in game now. <laughs> we are playing. Um, first mate's coming out from uh, from burning there. Um, building their engineers, expanding a couple of factories. Interestingly, over at the north side, we see a metal storage and an energy storage started by burning. So starting very early with them. Yeah, I think that's entirely justified with the amount of eco they're going to be uh, going to be grabbing as early as they ca as they will be. They'll definitely need that storage so that uh, they can keep up with their production just in case. Because well, there's just so much metal on this planet, it's actually going to be a tricky situation actually finding placement for non-metal buildings. 
<laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah, that's one of the things you actually need to be worried about. You've also, got to be careful of all the uh, trees. There's a relatively large amount of trees. Uh, you're going to want to clear that area, maybe burn it down, uh, possibly reclaim it if you want to start building uh, large stuff over a big area. Mm, definitely. So, the burning player Southern Spawn, double vehicle factory first, got out uh, four fabbers there, following up with some tanks and a spinner as well. So he's getting a little bit of early anti-air and that firefly uh, that's going over, just managing to dodge the range of that, but does get the scout and the ping goes off there from the cult player saying, Oi, look, there's a commander down here, be ready to go and uh, take it out and I'll just ping you there, because we've already got a docks force coming in. There's only four there, so if they run into the tanks, they will get repelled. Um, so uh, it's, a, it's a good decision to go tanks, but at the same time, they're much slower moving. Mm. So uh, you got that trade-off there, power versus movement in this case. Yeah, it's, it's difficult because it's a large planet, so you want those fast-moving bots to get everywhere and do stuff. Mm. Um, but equally, when it comes to confrontations, the tanks just absolutely slaughter the docks. Yeah. Um, and if we look at the unit composition here, I mean... We see Colt, this is something they've done before, they're going for a lot of bots. We actually see them getting a couple of air factories out as well. Air support's always going to be really useful. But they're going all bots here, so that's what they're going to invest in. Um, and they want that fast moving speed. If we look over at Burning, I don't think I see any bots. It seems to be all tanks. And There's one bot oh, no, factory see, there. Yeah, we see one bot factory there, but they seem to be going predominantly for tanks. Uh, and I think that'll help them out once they start getting into confrontations. Mm. I mean, I think there's going to be a, it's a two-sided coin in this case because there's so much metal around that taking it away from your opponent is going to be crucial, and the bots have the movement speed to be able to do that, while at the same time you're going to need some backbone to follow up on some actual proper assaults, so you're going to need that balance between bots and tanks, I feel. Mm, yeah, it, yeah. <clears throat> I think you know having the balance of like nice, fast, early raiding, easy defending docks early on, but then also having the tanks when it comes to an actual uh, a face-off confrontation. And we do see Colt beginning to surround that southern burning player who is a little bit isolated. Kind of preventing his expansion here. Coming over to the north side towards where those engineers are as well. Yeah, I mean, that's just the sort of raiding they need. To go and take down those two engineers at this point will be really good for them because the uh, the burning player there still only has two factories, almost about to get a third, but that's going to be a lot of time invested in building uh, building additional fabricators there. Mm, I think we need to see a lot more uh, fabricators from that burning dude because he's obviously mm. under a little bit of pressure, so really... He needs to get out more factories and get, get out some units and unit production. Yeah. Looks as though he's definitely going for the eco of, of the team there with so many PGENs with the commander. Although he's now moved that uh, PGEN line onto the area without trees. So if he wants to, he can transition to a lot of factories and he won't have to bother reclaiming too hard. Mm -hmm. Really important to know those areas where you can just uh, build quickly without any of that reclaiming wasting time. Yes. North Burning player now moving into the pond there. Got a naval factory out with a naval fabricator as well. So he's going to start laying some uh, laying claim to that uh, to that region there, which is good. A lot of fireflies and scouting going out from uh, Colt as well. And a lot of pings going down from Burning, seeing this massive docks force to the south there as the wall starts to go up. But that could be pretty significant as there's really not a lot to defend against such a, such a docks force from that southern Burning player. So perhaps teleporters might be useful for the Burning player at this point. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised we haven't actually seen teleporters yet, but I'm sure we'll see them pretty soon. So, that's the fifth mech that's gone down, another two under pressure. We've got to be careful though, one uber cannon could kill every single one of those docks. Mm. Um, and we do see some of those tanks now coming in to, uh, to engage, and some more raiding actually going on on the other southern burning player. That's been cleaned up by a group of docks though, so not too much yeah. worries there. I do have a fear though because if you look at the north burning spawn they've gone for advanced vehicles very early on right next to their uh, deep space orbital radar there which is good just to keep an eye on the orbital there but the advanced vehicles early on is going to give them uh, the advanced tech and the advanced economy they might need to just really hammer out the factories and it looks as though the uh, the burning players are going heavy air so mm, they really are actually bomber bomber snipes are a real thing and docks aren't particularly fantastic at shooting down air however at the same time you have got quite a lot of interceptors being produced from the uh, cult double spawn towards the north in addition to vehicle factories as well but still such an emphasis on bots but now lots of vehicle factories coming out from burning a couple of T1 bombers actually from Team Burning towards the uh, the southern player actually did a good job clearing up some of those docks there, but fighters coming in, helping uh, 
thin out their forces a little bit, but the bombers, ooh. Oh, wow. This is where you really want to be uh, getting on the micro with those docks. All you need is just a quick area patrol, and it really spreads them out so that the uh, the carpet bombs do yeah. such, uh, such less damage to those. But now mm. you see, that's bought uh, the burning player time, and he's now got a really large tank force to defend, and that's more than enough to defend against these docks, I feel. Hmm. So that was that was a good move there to buy the uh, buy them time. Attacks coming in at the north side. Whole load of bombers to defend for burning, cleaning up a lot of those docks. The fighters are actually right there for Colt, uh, just out of position in terms of where <laughs> they needed to be. Yeah. At the moment, great micro from uh, those bombers from burning. And as you mentioned earlier, I think the T2 is really going to swing it towards them. Currently doing a great job, both teams on 800 medals. Slight lead for team burning, but actually very, very close indeed. But having this T2 eco, I think, is what's going to put it over the edge. Because they're going to get T2 power gens, which is something they really need at this stage. And as soon as they do that, they can get a whole load of T2 medal and really just explosively increase their eco. Yeah, and then the the snowball starts rolling. And if you look in the economy tab there, we've currently got comparable metal, and they're floating over at Colt. But burning is double the pgen capacity there, so they can just fly away with their production. All they need to do really is just ramp up the air factories, and then just go for straight bomber snipes and interceptor support. Ooh, we just sort of fly over some bombers there. They did actually get shot down by the docks, but they took out a large group of them. And it's very painful when you're playing like this and you've built all these units and you've sent them and they're right outside your opponent's base. And then suddenly some bombers come in and just absolutely crush them. It's really irritating to have to deal with. Um, mm. At the moment, Burning is really investing very heavily in air units. If we look at the, uh, the right hand player, actually, he doesn't even have any ground factories here. All he has is air factories and the commander. Um, so that kind of makes him really vulnerable in one hand. But. If Colt here just start building a whole load of fighters, then maybe they can actually overtake and, uh, and take air control and do a lot with it. Yeah, they're going to need to get on that really, really soon indeed. Plus, getting some tanks as well. They really want to start transitioning to vehicles at this point because burning on that southern, southern spawn there has so many vehicle factories compared to bots and they're just continually streaming, especially with the economy advantage they have now. They cannot neglect the transition to vehicles because they are so much more powerful. And if you outproduce a docks, uh, docks player with vehicles, well, you're just going to absolutely trample them. As we see now in the north, lots of vehicles heading down to the Great Wall of Colt there. <laughs> With lots of docks trying to navigate just to the uh, the southwest. Ping going off saying, oi look, there's a big force over there. We don't necessarily want to go against it just yet. But the tanks can go against the walls. There's a lot of P-Gen, not P-Gen, sorry, point defense there to defend. Mm. But, uh, you know, might be wise to get a few bombers out if they Nobody can. Off. A little bit unusual from Burning to actually head directly towards that wall with point defense. Like, of all of the places you head towards, that is literally the worst place on the entire planet. I think they've only just scouted it, though, as we can see them now rerouting towards the side of it. Ah, uh, yeah. They can't. Eat, they couldn't see the turrets behind, and now they can. And, yeah. Uh, it looks like they are actually going to head down the side. Might be interesting to pop in a couple of grenadiers at this point. Possibly, yeah. Especially with these walls going up. But great work from uh, Colt. Walls are very, very powerful indeed. Um, and that seems to have been working out well for mm. them, giving them a little bit of control. Um, bombers actually coming in at one of the Colt commanders here. Not enough bombers to kill him in one big strike, but he's already down to 50% here. Only fighters left for now, but he needs to be careful. This is the sort of time where you need to be wary of those T1 bomber snipes and just uh, and get up out of the air and, and, and flak ideally around your base. Yeah, flak is definitely the thing they want to do, especially now that most spawns have a uh, T2 advanced factory in it. But uh, I think that's not the biggest problem for Colt right now, as we see over here another large tank incursion just continually pushing those docks back, and it's going to start hitting the PGen lines as well, which is going to knock back their uh, economy even more, though they are floating at the moment, so it's not necessarily going to dampen their spirits excuse me, too heavily. Another bomber snipe coming on the commander, leaving him now on 21%, but the flak, the flak is missing. Why have we not got flak? On a yeah, planet this large, just, yeah. Probably just the T1 uh, anti air. I think that's all he has access to. Perhaps getting out T2 engineer, I think, really would be the best choice there. Mm. Um, but he hasn't invested in that. Whole load of tanks also coming in over here. Commander coming in to deal with it. Going for their T2 factory, which is really not great. Really don't want to be losing that T2 factory if they can help it. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks as though they probably will lose it as the level has come in. If the commander can pop up a good uber cannon. Oh, yeah, an uber cannon will save it. Oh, wow, there, there it go. goes. Saves the T2 factory, now going to repair it. That's a nice little save. Mm. 
They just need to get more production. They're floating their eco really heavily at the moment. If they just flammed out a whole bunch of factories, and I mean, they only need to be vehicle factories, and they'll start to push back because on the southern spawn, they've got vehicles in their base, and docks just cannot do anything against this in mm. ones and twos. They just can't. If anything, I think for for Colt, it would be easier for them to have tanks. I find the micro on tanks is much easier and much less intensive. It is. Whereas with docks, yeah. you have to micro incredibly heavily, and if you screw up, oh. then, uh, then you pay the price. So the commander there was below 20%. He just got sniped by a couple more bombers, and that's one commander down now for Colt. Three remaining. One actually in a lot of trouble. Pings going down there from uh, Team Burning as they face one of them. He's actually in here amongst the Infernos. The Infernos do a ton of damage. He's falling below 24%. So few units, but I think he might go down. No. You do that not was want painful. to let Infernos get close to your commander because they do a lot of damage very quickly. Quickly, and one uber cannon isn't nothing, um, so very very dangerous. Mm. And now there's a significant number of bombers out in the middle, uh, in the middle between the two bases. There, that's probably mm. single pass bomber snipe worthy, especially considering the lack of flak around the the other commander. A few anti airs going up, a few interceptors as well. But at this point, Colt is on the defensive, and Burning can do whatever they please. Oh man, a huge swarm of ducks up towards the north pole just got hammered by more bombers. Burning, they're not even building fighters. They don't really care if the bombers die, even though there's all these fighters here. They're just sending them in, yeah. getting rid of the docks. That's what really matters. And if the docks are dead, then they can't do any damage to the outskirts of their base. Well, I mean, they're just overwhelming with sheer numbers now. If you look in the army tab, the factory count, 90 to 40. That is insane. <laughs> that is insane. And a large number of those are air factories. And, oh my goodness, that is painful. The bomber's now coming up to the cult spawn from the south there. I'll just give you the ping. Yeah. Looks as though the commander is out in the open as all the interceptors are up north. If they get the scout on that commander, the bombers are just going to head straight in. Unfortunately, they decide not to at this point. Perhaps they just need a few more numbers, but there now... There it's, yeah. it's coming to vision range, so they can see that commander there now. And I think Here they come. Go oh, oh, maybe. <laughs> <their> <laughs> Oh, you there's another swarm coming in there. from the other side, so they're going to double snipe this with a good bit of uh, combined micro, I suspect. Although at the same time, you don't want to double snipe it too hard because then you'll lose half of your bombers in that. In if all it takes is just a little bit of mistiming. I think at this stage, though, there's only two commanders left, so losing all your bombers to get one more snipe is okay. Because then it leaves you with one last, you know, sudden death kill, and that's all you need to do to, get to yeah. finish it up. Um, we do see fighters now flying over that base for Colt. They're going to want to try and defend those commanders if possible. Just, and there's a lot of yellow around them. Yeah. Actual, there's a lot of expansion, a lot of metal. So all that T1 metal income really increased them. Currently leading, uh, what are we on the eco? 1800. So they have an enormous eco. And, uh, and Colt's lost a lot of ground here. They lost a lot of their T1 next they had mm. gained. That southern spawn isn't really a worry to burning at this point. It's not producing enough. It's, you know, they've got perfect amounts of defense. A bomber snipe. Passing the commander there doesn't actually do any damage, but they just take losses. But, I mean, they, they know it's not a threat because they put up so many air factories there on the front lines. So, they're just thinking, okay, well, we have the production. They don't. We have the economy. They don't. We have the bombers and air control. They don't. So, you know, it's it's just a case of uh, overwhelming with sheer bombing numbers now. Stuff happening now. We actually see tanks over at the north side coming in against the commander and a whole load of bombers coming in at the southern base. Uh, interesting choice to go at the southern base. I'm not sure really... Well, I mean, obviously they want to destroy the infrastructure, but here, really, I think they should just be going for snipes and trying to end it. Uh, on the yeah. top-hand side, though, Commander there getting into fight with those bombers, uh, sorry, the tanks. Not a fight he wants to get into, because the Commander is very, very weak in confrontations with units. He's taking a lot of damage. He falls below 20%. Doc's coming in here, probably going to save him as he gets away on 15%, but now he is super vulnerable to just a couple of bombers coming in. What's he on now? He's almost dead, sitting on 8%. His units just about managed to stop those tanks coming in. In come the bombers coming in from the southern side. Fighters leading the way. Going to tank a little bit of the anti-air fire. And those bombers are going to come in and finish it. Far too many bombers actually. Going to lose way more units than necessary. Mm. Splits them up very nicely there. Saves the majority of the bombers. Loses the fighters, but um, does manage to save some of his bombers. And they're now all going to focus on that final commander. Oh, there's so many bombers coming in. There's no way he's getting out of this one alive. Falling to 30%. <laughs> the last strike comes in. Oh, my goodness. Look on the horizon there. That is insane. Yeah, even more coming. I think they've basically selected all their units. <laughs> yeah. what they should do. As we see them coming over <laughs> from all sides of the planet. 
ready to come in for that final blow. That is painful, and there's no flak there. I mean, they could survive this if they just surrounded that commander in flak, but then there'd be the tanks coming in, and he just wouldn't be able to survive that. Yep. So, obviously, <laughs> one biggest mistake we can highlight here from Colt is they didn't build walls around their commander, and, uh, and that <laughs> didn't get air sniped. <laughs> Walls defending yeah. against bombers? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you put double walls on there, he'd probably be like at ninety percent right now. <laughs> I, mean, I do like the huddle of docks there, just bandaging him up over time. <laughs> uh, so it looks like Burning wanted to actually wait and finish with the uh, unit cannon. Uh, classy, actually, from Colt. They don't let them play and they uh, delete their commanders beforehand. <laughs> I think that's a good move from Colt, because mm. um, that was kind of BM from Burning to uh, to not just finish it there. Yeah. But GG, Burning take the win, and the points for yeah. their team. GG's. GG's! So congrats there to Burning. They take the win, and they win the points for their clan, and we will uh, we'll keep moving on and uh, see what else we have to offer in the tournament. So that was Team Burning versus the Colt, playing on the Colt's home system. Uh, Team Burning are now going to be playing again, this time on their home system, against the PA Gods. Right, how do you want to do the interviews for this? Just uh, just Klops or Mesh again? Um, I think since it's your interview, you can take the lead, Marshall, and do it however you like. Oh, it's my interview, is it? Yeah! Okay. Well, we'll just talk with Klops. We'll get a we'll get a second interview in the uh, second round, I think. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is me very fearful of talking to people. How <laughs> yeah, right. social? <laughs> well, not by choice. I tell you that much. Right, incoming Klops. Hello, Klops. How are you? Hello, hey, there. good morning to you. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Raise up there. <laughs> 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 right, okay. How you doing? Uh, how you doing? Grant, Klops. we're all ready. We're all ready to play. Wicked. Sweet. Are you confident against Team Burning after watching that last game? Uh, no, they look like they played really well. I am, mm. but um, we don't practice, so. <laughs> but I'm, I'm confident. I, we play a lot of one v ones, so it should be fine. Gonna add some spectator slots in my clocks. <laughs> Did I add three? No, oh, sorry. I will do that. Oh no, that was in the last game. Sorry. No, just three up. Good stuff. We'll get Marshall in there. So uh, you haven't practiced much, clocks. <laughs> uh, at all. Okay, at all. Right, yeah, I don't mean, It's fine. We were supposed to play last night, but then I kind of decided I was going to have a drink instead. Oh, okay, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, as long as you've got your priorities straight, you know? Mm hmm. But yeah. So, uh, I see in the lobby the um, notorious Pag Master. Yeah. <laughs> That's Nim Junior, I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Marshall, you have to go into Spectator. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. So, we haven't practiced at all. We're playing on the burning system, which is kind of unusual. Have you, have you bombed looking at the system, or is that just not necessary? <laughs> I, I think I remember they played it last time when they went two and two. So hope they do the same. That's the only yeah. that's the only plan I have right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, we're just going to scout and then just see what they're doing and then. Okay. Uh, are you planning? That. Are you planning to split up a little bit and and kind of work a little bit autonomously, or have you managed to start doing teamwork? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think we were doing four one v one strats. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then we'll see how uh, just for the for the beginning, and then we see how it goes. Okay, I, I think because it's gonna be two v two, two v two. I I reckon, I could be wrong, but if it's not, then I don't mind. Mm. So how would you deal if it was a one versus two commander scenario across like multiple planets? There, uh, probably just get a teleporter as quick as possible, or mm. get the guy to hold him out, but maybe, most likely teleporter. Cool. Not necessarily as viable in the PTE, of course, with the quadruple cost. Cost? Yeah. yeah. It's really expensive, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But to be fair, 400 medal has been far too cheap for far too long. Yeah, they have got <laughs> I, I think we can all agree on that. Yeah, I think like 800's fine. Yeah, 800 sounds about right. 
but I the don't thing know. was, a commander could get out of teleport in no time on his own, which was yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's hurt me a couple of times. <laughs> it has, yeah. So yeah, maybe we'll see it rebalanced a little bit. It is obviously the PTE, so it's not going through to stable just yet. Yeah, no, but it's actually quite. I played it quite a lot in the last night. It's really mm. well. Mm. It's really fun. The pelicans mm. are really fun to play with. Mm. What do you mm. think about uh, the power balance now and uh, expansion balance? Uh, I don't think much has changed, to be honest. Oh, it doesn't right, okay. feel. <laughs> it suits me better because I don't cr crash energy as much as I used to. So mm. that's mm. that's about it. Mm. Okay. Well, we wish you the best of luck, Klotz. Thank you.